Hello guys, welcome back to House of Organic Beauty. So today is Today is January the 11th, okay? 2023. God is good, right? And it is about about to be 8 o'clock. I'm at the shop, as you can tell. Yeah, it is like 7.48 or something like that. No, 7, doesn't matter. Okay. Anyways, yeah, I'm at the shop, about to wash my hair. This is my first time washing my hair in the shop. So, this should be interesting, okay? Um, this time around, I'll be using my hot oil treatment on my hair. I haven't done a hot oil treatment in my hair in literally years, okay? Because I want my hair to get back thicker. Um, and just trying to repair my hair in general. And especially seeing what the oil did to my oldest daughter's hair. It made it extra thick. Okay, that's my goal, to make my hair extra thick. My hair did get thick after um, losing all that hair due to the well water. This video is not going to be too long um, because I have no space. <laughs> that's number one. So I will be speeding things up. And yeah, so this is my hair. Now, I did this style earlier today. I did section my hair. Okay. Just just in case if I ended up, you know, washing my hair tonight and I made the decision that I should wash my hair tonight because tomorrow I do hair. It is pre-sectioned, okay, already. I will be adding the oil and then sitting under the blow dryer. I don't know if you need, guys need to see that, but let's get started. I don't want to ramble on too much. So I'll let you guys see exactly what I'm doing just everywhere. So right now I have a cape on. Under the cape I have a... Um, what is thing called? I had a towel under me. What is that? It slid off. All right. Let me tie this towel because I don't want to get wet. It's a little chilly outside. All right. So let me tie this off real quick. So, you know, being bougie, I have a little cape on so I don't get myself wet or dirty. This can be very messy. Especially for me. I tend to do things just rapid i just be getting stuff all over please okay so let's get started okay so what i do i, I don't want to just speed it up and then not explain exactly what i'm doing i mean it's kind of self-explanatory i don't necessarily have to explain anything or do i i don't know so anyways you're gonna need your spray bottle i have to refill this mm. should i do it now uh, okay hold on so it is refilled, but I do I do have one um, a spray bottle that I do use in the shampoo station area. So this bottle I don't mind getting it all greasy and dirty and stuff. I just remembered, and this bottle stays here in this area when I need it to stay like nice and clean. But anyways, okay. So so you're gonna spray, 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 spray. You could saturate the hair, but I mean, it's not necessary. <laughs> you just want it not to be dry. Okay, so spray, 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 spray. The hair. All right, finger detangle if you have to. I finger detangled earlier, so um, I'm trying to see, should I finger detangle right now? I mean, should I comb it? I'll comb it after, but you want to finger detangle it. The only reason I am finger detangling right now is because I don't feel any knots or anything like that. My hair is acting right. Okay. So we Gucci. All right. So grab your oil. You see me? You put a little bit in your hand. A little bit in your hand. It's fairly, I mean, it's not thick, but it's not as loose anyway. But anyways. And then saturate the hair with oil. I place the oil on the hair and on the scalp. Rub, 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 rub. I hope you guys can see me. Mm. If y'all can't, I don't know. Mm. 
okay and then you would want to show love to the ends you don't want to saturate where it's dripping guys okay all right my hair is it growing honestly i don't know it's not breaking i did end up cutting it or trimming it last year or 2021 so my goal is to like just grow out my hair as long as possible like there's no i mean whatever it really doesn't matter so yeah that is how i do it okay saturate the hair finger detangle if you want to you can um use a comb some people finger detangle some people use combs it really doesn't matter For myself, I like focusing the comb or my fingers at the root because my root is a little thicker because hair is growing in. Amen to that. Okay. So there'd be a lot of like hair that's like together. So you would want to be gentle with that. Okay. Okay, take your oil. Ooh. Show some love to the ends. And that is it. What I find myself doing now, honestly, is braiding up the hair. I started doing this method on my clients with thicker, thicker hair, um, especially my kid clients. I um, would detangle their hair first with conditioner, and then I will braid up the hair. The sections that I made, I will braid it up and then wash it like that in the braids. It makes my life so much easier guys like i don't have to go in and detangle hair again i mean well i do like detangling but hair is not all over the place it's just easier so i would do like a loose braid like this okay i should have braided up here a little tighter but it's okay i'll be back when i am done oiling up all of my hair so I am done. I braided it up and ugh, I hate the feeling of a lot of oil in my hair. So I'm kind of disgusted right now. So I'm massaging it in. This is what I do for my oldest daughter, okay? Um, I don't know if you saw, I recently posted a video of the comparison with my um oldest daughter's hair from 2021 and 2022 how thick it got and how long it got okay the thickness it's the wow factor for me i was like dumbfounded like her hair was already thick but it wasn't that that thick this time it's like like you can't see the line stick that's how thick it is the only thing that stayed consistent was me doing her hot oil treatment because her hair loved butters and oils okay her hair did get long i had to trim uh, a few inches off not that much um she still has a few more inches that i'd have to trim off but you know baby steps because boy she wasn't having it but the comparison was just crazy to me this is why it's important to document um your growth journey because you're going to think your hair is not growing in actuality it is growing um, my hair before the well water and my hair during the whole process of me shedding and my hair now, there's progression, okay? I had thicker hair before the well water damaged my hair. And then during the whole process, my hair got so 
thin i will definitely post like a little small video go watch that video too i'll link it probably down below looking back at that video i'm like oh my goodness and around that time i did not know that it was the well water that was breaking my hair and i was still using the hair i was screaming at the screen saying no don't use the water it's the well water that's breaking your hair i'm thinking it was stress and other stuff but it's all good and now my hair is getting back to where it was i ended up dying it because i was just like over life i was like whatever i don't care anymore <laughs> But I love the dye, but I honestly miss my hair color. So, but anyways, let's get to the point, honey. Okay, so I am done. I am going to go under the dry for like maybe 10, 15 minutes. I'm not going to let you guys see that because it's like, what's the point? I'll give it a little snippet. But before I go under the dryer, I just wanted to share with you guys what I'm going to be using to wash my hair. So I'll be using the Kinky Curly not today come clean shampoo and then i'm gonna follow that by going in with a deep conditioner by aussie moist okay this is how it looks hopefully this stuff works on my hair because the um the um oh no i have my um my fog deep conditioner so i'll be using that instead it is right here. This is my favorite leave-in conditioner. I mean, I say leave-in. This is my favorite deep conditioner. They discontinued it. I'm not sure why. Mm. And this is how much is left. I'm going to use it so it won't, like, go bad. So I'll be using this instead of the um, the Aussie Moist. I'll use this next time, God willing. Okay? So I'll be using this as a deep conditioner, and that is it. <laughs> okay and i'm loving it i hope you guys like this angle hope you guys are feeling it because you guys can actually kind of see everything you know let me see okay this angle is better right because you guys can actually see everything but yeah so this is my hair my ooey okay 
nice and clean. So right now I'll be using my butter oil and my Kinky Curly Not Today leave-in conditioner. Where's the oil? Look for it. I want to dry my hair because it's cold outside, so I don't want my hair wet. And plus it's been, I think, over a year since I've blown out my hair, like a year and a half. Yeah, stay tuned. So I am finally done. I ended up um, blowing out my hair with my handheld dryer instead of the um, Rev Air. I regretted my life. <laughs> but it's all good. It is all good. Um, the Rev Air, I have to clean it out. That's why I didn't use it. So, yes, I ended up putting um, all of my leave-in things. Yeah, this is my hair. I feel like it grew, but I don't... What do you think? I don't know. Did it grow? Chad, I can't tell sometimes. I feel like it grew from the last time I blew it out. I will leave a picture, the last video. I will be measuring it to see if it did grow out. Okay, I added butter to the ends after I blew it out. But yeah, this is it, guys. This is my hair. Hair wash day. I don't know if you can see it. I think it grew, but I don't know, really. Hope you guys like this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, guys, you already know. Be blessed. This is